Uh, Modern Warfare. Okay, all right, new COD Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2019, okay, let's see here. Okay, so let's see here. Call of Duty, uh, where's Traylor? Okay, here it is, four months ago. 32 million views. The rules have changed. Oh, jeez. There's a fine line between right and wrong. How many... How many shooter games that have some sort of, uh, disillusioned, grizzled veteran start off with a line that's exactly like that? How many Jason Statham movies start off with a line just like that? Wow. And somewhere. A ghillie suit in the me. shadows. Ooh, it's a zombie. They send us in to find them. Okay. Watch your six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. It's Chuck Norris. Bravo six. Going dark. Start clear! This is whenever they raided Osama bin Laden's house. This is the same one. Okay. Who's your team? Some old comrades. It's Cortana. All right. So, you know, clearly showing this is uh, th this is what you like to call, um, basically, uh, police state propaganda. It's showing an armed soldier going into a child's bedroom. Uh, absolutely disgusting. I, I hope Alex Jones knows about this. Uh, this this is just absolutely shameless. Uh, anyway, so what do I think about this game? I honestly, like, I mean, the trailer and everything for the campaign, it seems compelling to me, right? I mean, the, the campaign seems like it could be compelling, although I'm pretty sure the story is going to be cliche in a number of different ways, and the 14-year-olds are going to eat that up. It's not a big deal. It's like Master Chief or whatever. You can have a one-dimensional character so the kids can impress their own fucking personalities onto the character, and, you know, they feel good about it. It's like Master Chief, for example, right? That's why I think they always made a good decision never removing his helmet. So everybody could vision visualize themselves is Master Chief. Uh, and then, like, besides that, what's the gameplay here? Okay, this is multiplayer? No, it's not. Where's multiplayer? Like, literally, where is multiplayer? Like, how is this multiplayer reveal? Like, this is just, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a fucking cinematic. This is a cinematic. Like, what the fuck? It just, I don't know what it is about COD, but I could just never get into it. I don't know, man. Game trailers, yeah, what, what the fuck? No, yeah, this isn't gameplay at all. Like, let me see your Modern Warfare gameplay. Okay, just a second. All right, here we go. Let's see what the hell this is. Okay. This looks just like the other one. Wait, how did it... Bro, is that fucking grenade made out of rubber? Did you see that? Like, he threw it against the goddamn rock. And it went, boop! And it popped up. It, it, it went faster than whenever he threw it. Wait, you guys can't see it? Oh, what the fuck? How did I not know that? Jesus Christ, it's so I'm so dumb. Uh, anyway, yeah, look at this. Okay. 
I don't know. I feel like this is... It's okay, but... I feel like, like Call of Duty is so busy. I don't know if I can explain that in the right way. There's like just so many things going on on the screen. And it's like you have all these different fucking like bonuses. You have these. these it, it's so busy. And it's a constant. Fight. Like PUBG is simple. Fortnite is simple. Um, Tarkov is not simple. But it's it's not supposed to be. And so Call of Duty I feel is like. You know, it, it's a little bit too, uh, it's for kids with ADHD. Yeah, uh, Fortnite is simple. No, what I don't mean by Fortnite being simple in that way. I mean, Fortnite is simple visually. Like, if you can visually see everything that you need to see very quickly, right? There's no uh, weird, like, display problems or anything like that. Uh, or, like, a bunch of different weird shit that's coming up on the screen. Like, you can see all of the information that you need to see right there on the screen very easily. Uh, that's the point that I'm making. Uh, why'd you what about the UI while well, UI isn't that busy remember that well no you're right it, it's absolutely busy like yeah it's like I, I feel like the wow UI is very busy especially to somebody who's not like a uh, an average MMO player I, I'm not gonna go in there I think I might die here let me see I'm gonna just bandage after this first tick here okay bandaging now okay there we go all right and ooh. okay yeah this is <laughs> This is getting pretty fucking rough. Okay, uh, let's see. We'll we'll try to get everybody back inside. I don't know where the fuck Berlin is. Uh, Berlin, we're starting again, man, if you want to come back in here. Uh, you have to play Search and Destroy only. You're just playing World of Warcraft right now? Well, it's like basically, no, I don't think I'm explaining World of Warcraft as much as that whenever I'm playing an MMO, uh, I expect to have like a very, very busy UI. Whenever I'm playing an FPS, I don't. So like for certain games, I have different expectations based off of the genre. So for like a platformer game, uh, you know, I, I don't expect to have, like, a very busy UI either. I expect it to be basically fully about gameplay. And uh, if I'm playing something else besides that, then... What, are you guys aggroing everything in the game? Is this what you want to do? We're going to aggro every mob. You want to get every single mob in the instance. Because I feel like that's basically what we're doing right now. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, ESO doesn't have a busy UI. Uh, I feel like... I feel like WoW doesn't have a really busy UI either, but that's because I've played it for so long. Uh, for me, the Elder Scrolls UI was not, it was not overbearingly complicated. I'll definitely say that.